Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Jadine, and if you guys are not new, then obviously you guys already know who I am. So today, I wanna show you guys a workout that I started off doing. So I'm gonna insert the clip of the workout right here so you guys can watch it. And after I worked out, I, you know, ate some food and now we're here. Guys, this is my third day of working out. And of course, I had to snatch the wig off because that was not gonna work. That thing was gonna slip right off if I didn't take it off. And this is what the girl is looking like. I'm very short. I don't know if this tells you guys. Small. However, like I was saying, I really had to take the wig off because it was gonna sweat the heck off if I didn't take it off and you know I'm finished working out and honestly at this point I'm very proud of my consistency and the fact that I have been doing this for three days and I went back to my insta stories from like all the way up in 2020 when we were in lockdown and I had just started working out and I feel like I look now that I'm looking back I looked so good and I felt so good and I felt like I was doing very very good but now I'm able to go a little bit longer with the workouts like the day before I did 10 minutes yesterday I did 13 minutes today I did 26 minutes so every day I'm gonna try and see if I can build up my endurance or my strength whichever one it is and um, you know see how much more I can do I have a set to work out from Chloe Ting that I'm doing it's her two-week shred so I'm trying to do all the workouts in the two-week shred for the entire two weeks to see you know what my body wants to do right now i currently weigh 155.2 okay we're not focusing on the weight too much i've lost five pounds since the start of the year but we're not focusing on the weight too much i'm more focused on my stomach area and i'm not uncomfortable with my body like i do not dislike my body at all i don't the only problem i have is let me show you guys The only issue I have is my stomach. Like, I want this to look like this. Okay, to look more sucked in than that. I want it to be flat. You hear me? Seamless. Seamless is what I need that thing to, to, to be. You know, and it's not to say that I'm not comfortable with myself right now or I don't love myself because I do love myself very, very much. <laughs> 2020? made me love myself if i didn't love myself before so um i'm very comfortable with myself it's just that i have personal goals for myself that i want to reach and that is having a very not well, very flat stomach i want to have abs that i want to you know i just want to tone my body and to look good and feel good and feel my best while i'm looking my best that's it and that's all that is a plan so i'm trying to see if i can put in the work to make sure that i get to that point comfortably so um yeah, even though I feel like, you guys, almost broke my camera. I need to figure out my eating situation because while I don't eat like a massive amount, I don't eat the healthiest things, I feel like. And my manager was telling me the other day that it's more about portion control than it is about not eating some things because he was pretty much saying that there are some things that you could still probably eat, but, you know, you have to do portion control. And I was telling him that I was really, really good at like... Sticking, sticking to a certain thing like I was eating just sweet potatoes with everything else that I ate for a very long time and I don't know one day I just once in 2020 once everything opened back up and I started going back to work it became a little bit harder because I then had two jobs to be juggling in between so I didn't have that much free time at home anymore so it was it was just hard but you know now I'm trying to find balance between both the jobs and like you know to figure out how to really get it together and put it together and 
and then it's gonna be good guys i truly have so many things on here it's annoying at this point but all the things that i kind of have on here are things for when i'm like ready to go this right here is the other day i worked on a holiday and my job gave us 25 dollars a 25 dollar gift card which is so cute for coming out on the holiday and then i have my little masks where when i'm working at the place that i'm working tomorrow i you know have these up here to just grab and go because at this point if they're not in plain sight chances are you won't see them i have my caramex which is always in my pocket of like my scrubs or whatever i'm wearing at the time and so i like for that to stay on there and obviously my camera is up here and this little thing here that i used to transfer things from my camera to my phone so that's what i have going on there i really want to go shower but i'm not sure what I think I'm gonna shower, put my robe on, and go snuggle up in the couch and watch some TV because honestly, I already ate. I don't really have anything else planned, nor do I want to have anything else planned at this point because I worked out and I feel really, really beat, okay? I did not expect this workout to kick my butt like that. But I mean, I did do a little bit more than I do on a regular day. I burnt 867 calories today, and that is amazing, okay? One of my friends always asks me why I don't up the calorie goal that I have on my watch because the calorie goal on my watch is 400 calories for the day and I just feel like no it's okay I want to give myself a realistic goal that I know that I can reach and like surpass comfortably I feel good in myself when I surpass it but I don't want to give myself a goal of like 2,000 calories or 3,000 calories and then I'm gonna feel pressured to get up to that point so i'm gonna be doing all types of extra stuff to get to the point of burning so many calories like i feel like the view in the mirror i don't really like it but yeah i feel like that is insane to like give myself a calorie goal of like 2000 and then I can't get to, to the 2,000 and then every day I feel so defeated because I feel like I'm not making any progress or whatever. No, I would like to see when I have met and surpassed the daily calorie goal and that just makes me feel good about myself. You know, little things like small wins are still wins and these days I've really been clinging on to that thing so bad. It's not even safe anymore at this point, the way how I've been clinging on to that. But, um... I'm gonna hop in the shower right now. I think I'm gonna keep this on my head. I'm gonna hop in the shower, get myself cleaned up, get comfortable, and I will see you guys when I see you guys. Hi guys, it is so many days later from the clip that you guys watched just now, but I wanted to pop in and, you know, give you guys an update. Um, It's a lot of days later, and I'm editing, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. I just left this vlog hanging like that like i didn't even come back in and like end the vlog and it's been so long later and i did so much so um i wanted to pop in and say i hope that you guys are staying safe and wearing your masks and i'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> thank you guys for watching and i really hope that you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye Thank you.